What if you woke up tomorrow and your money was worthless? This isn't a dystopian scenario, it's the reality for millions caught in the crossfire, economic sanctions. These sanctions cause huge damage up to 1 trillion worldwide. But most people don't even know it's happening. This secret war affects us all, from the prices we pay to the products we can buy. It shapes global politics and trade in ways we rarely see. Today, we'll explore how this hidden weapon works. We'll look at its history, its impact, and what it means for our future. Sanctions are the main weapon in this economic war. But what are they? Simply put, sanctions are rules that limit trade or money flow with a country. They come in many forms. Some stop trade. Others freeze money. Some even ban travel. Why use sanctions? Countries use them to change how other nations act. It's a way to push for change without using force. The goal is often to make a country follow international rules or change its actions. Who uses these economic weapons? The big players are the United Nations, the United States, and the European Union. They decide when and how to use sanctions. Each has its own way of putting sanctions in place. The Unsecurity Council can set up sanctions. But all five main members must agree. The EU needs all its countries to say yes. The US uses sanctions more than any other country. Either the President or Congress can start them. Sanctions aren't new. They've been used for a long time. But they've changed over the years. In the past, sanctions often hurt everyone in a country. Now, they try to target only specific people or groups. This new approach aims to avoid hurting innocent people. We've seen how sanctions work. Now, let's look at what they do to the world. Sanctions can change whole countries. They can also cause problems no one planned for. Let's start with a big win for sanctions, South Africa. In the 1980s, many countries put sanctions on South Africa. They did this to fight apartheid. These sanctions helped end racist rule there. It shows how economic pressure can lead to good change. But not all sanctions work so well. Take Iran. Countries have put many sanctions on Iran because of its nuclear program. These sanctions have hurt Iran's economy. But they've also made life hard for normal people there. Many Iranians can't get the goods they need. North Korea is another case. It's been under sanctions for years. The goal is to stop its nuclear plans. But North Korea has found ways around these rules. It still trades with some countries. This shows that sanctions don't always work as planned. Russia is the newest big target of sanctions. After it attacked Ukraine, many countries put sanctions on Russia. These are some of the strongest sanctions ever. They've hit Russia's banks and rich people hard. But they've also changed how the world does business. Sanctions can have surprise effects. One big one is the rise of digital money. Countries hit by sanctions are using things like Bitcoin more. It helps them avoid normal banks that won't work with them. Some countries are also making new ways to trade. They're trying to work around the usual systems. This could change how money moves around the world. But there's a dark side to sanctions. They often hurt regular people the most. This raises big questions. Is it right to use sanctions if they harm innocent people? There are no easy answers. Sanctions are a powerful tool. They can push for good changes. But they can also cause a lot of harm. As we use them more, we need to think hard about their effects on everyone. We've seen how sanctions can shake up the world. But do they really work? Let's find out if this tool is as strong as it seems. When countries use sanctions, they hope to change how other nations act. 
but it's not always clear if they succeed. Some say sanctions work about 40% of the time. That means they fail more often than they work. It's hard to know for sure if sanctions cause the changes we see. Sanctions can hurt both sides. The country using them might lose out on trade. Their companies can face big fines if they break the rules. One bank had to pay almost $9 billion for dealing with banned groups. The country hit by sanctions often feels more pain. Regular people may struggle to buy food or medicine. This can make life very hard for them. Some say it's not fair to hurt innocent people this way. Sanctions can also have odd effects. Sometimes they make countries find new ways to trade. Russia, for example, started buying more from its neighbors. Those countries then sold goods to Russia. This helped Russia avoid some of the sanctions' impact. Another odd result is the rise of digital money. Countries facing sanctions are using things like Bitcoin more. This helps them work around banks that won't deal with them. Some worry that using sanctions too much could backfire. If other countries stop using the US dollar, it could weaken America's power. This shows that even the country using sanctions can face risks. So, do sanctions work? The answer isn't simple. They can push for change, but they also cause problems. As we use this tool more, we need to think hard about its real costs and benefits. The hidden war of sanctions is complex, with no clear winners or losers. We've seen how sanctions work today. But what about tomorrow? The future of economic warfare is changing fast. New tech is creating new ways to fight this hidden war. Think about digital money like Bitcoin. It's hard to control. Countries might use it to avoid sanctions. AI could also change things. It could find new ways to spot rule breakers or help countries hide their trades. These changes could shift who has power in the world. Countries that master new tech might gain an edge. Those who don't could fall behind. What does this mean for you? The world's money system might look very different soon. It's key to stay informed. Keep an eye on news about sanctions and new tech. Your future could depend on it.